Good morning, students. I am Vetri Chelvi. Again, I am coming here for giving the question for the NEET based on all-all condensation from Vetri and Vetri NEET coaching. So, this is the question from the AIMS 2010. So, nowadays, the question from AIMS we can expect for the coming NEET 2019. So, the previous year AIMS question discussion <coughs> question is cyclohexane on ozonolysis followed by the reaction with zinc dust and a water gives compound E. The compound E on further treatment with aqueous potassium hydroxide yields compound F. Compound F is the options are available. So here the two knowledge they are testing. One is ozonolysis and another one is your aqueous potassium hydroxide. So aqueous potassium hydroxide from ozonolysis mean it indicate they are here testing the knowledge of aldol. So the product of ozonolysis is the carbonyl compound. Carbonyl compound followed by the aqueous potassium hydroxide aldol should be the product. Now let us see the mechanism starting with your cyclohexane. So I am coming to the cousin of your cyclohexane. Started the cyclohexane. Your cyclohexane 6 member ring with 1 unsaturation. So this is your cyclohexane first point. Here it followed the ozonolysis followed by reaction zinc dust and water. So right ozonolysis zinc dust and water. So here two steps are there. First step is ozonolysis. Second step is followed by hydrolysis. What is the knowledge of ozonolysis? End of the ozonolysis. Here this is the bond break. Here give O and O. Both together coming as a should be ended as the carbonyl group. This is the knowledge of ozonolysis. Now let us follow the knowledge and write it. Put your finger and terminal. It should be the carbonyl compound. So aldehyde and here ender. Put your finger and write. Now the six number ring. Here very important numbering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six member carbonyl compound is ready. So it is the end of ozonolysis. Our next step is here the knowledge is given aqueous potassium hydroxide. Usually for all that they will give dilute potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. Here the new task is it is introduced as a aqueous. So this is the new point. If it is even it is aqueous you have to go for only aldol because it is the carbonyl group. So based on the tricky ap approach I am going to the aldol condensation. So what is the aldol condensation? That is the formation of two steps. Formation of nucleophile. So the first step I am going to do with this terminal. Here it is. And the second carbon I am keeping as it is. Now let us go with the first step. That is the formation of nucleophile. How I can do? With the alpha hydrogen. So this is your alpha hydrogen. Now with the medium it is the strong base. Now removal of the alpha hydrogen and it gives the water and the formation of nucleophile. Now you put your nucleophile like this. Put your finger and write. Here this is the ring. The aldehyde group is no change and this one and here this and this there is no change but here there is a form here the bond hydrogen is removed and here I can say the minus is that that is on this carbon minus that means what your hydrogen is removed as a H plus so altogether this minus is on this one I can say this is the of course at a nucleophile. So now with the one carbon hydrogen atom is here. So alpha hydrogen is removed. Next is step 2. What is step 2 is this is step 1 that is the formation of nuclear. Step 2 attack. Attack of nucleophile. Now let me write the your molecule that is your aldehyde. Here it is the minus that is the nucleophile and here I am writing the polar carbonyl compound. Let us see the polarization. Here it is plus sorry minus and it is plus. So what happened here the same that is intramolecular attack here it is the intramolecular 
molecular intramolecular means within a same molecule we are seeing the all the this is the new concept so now this minus nucleophile will come and attack here polarization minus so this carbon become plus so this one is going to attack here it is a very 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 new concept so to avoid the confusion you numbering 1 2 3 4 5 6 so where should be the bond between 2 and 5 carbon between 2 and 5 should be connected do it very very carefully as i told put your finger this is your carbon 1 here it is carbon 2. Parallelly write the number. Now I am in the 3. Go to 4. Write it. Go to 5. Write it. Go to 6. Where I am stopping? Here. O minus and the such is available there. Your connection is between 2, 2. Here 6. You put it here. So now the carbon 6 is also written. So this is the second step is over. Now I am going to the third step what is third step it is the protonation okay it is very simple this is the protonation which we attack here and the product is now let us see here this one as i told you write your thing parallel you you keep your yes move with this so see here it is oh and this is your hydrogen connect to your c with this carbon Okay, now let us see the next one is the on heating minus water. We want the alpha, beta and saturation is important. Now let us see the alpha, beta position. This is the functional group. So this is your alpha. This alpha you are having here one beta. Another one beta is here. So we want the alpha, beta and saturation mean. So this hydrogen should be what should be considered. So now this alpha hydrogen with this OH, okay, removing. We want to remove the water. So now removal of water. OH of aldol with the this alpha hydrogen. What happened to the bond is now shifting and uh, connecting the carbon number 2 with the carbon number 6. Now complete the product. Now let me give this one CHO carbon number 2 then then here and here what is it here it is ch is written there of course you can write of course ch and carbon 6 with the 2 connect and what happened to this there is a moving of here the unsaturation so put the double bond with that is coming to the end we can write the same structure as a pentagonal ring you put it is the pentagonal and this corner i am giving functional group mean follow the functional group there is one unsaturation this is the product now come and see the product here option a is matching pentagonal ring cho next to one you are having the what is it called as a and saturation so again you verify your option with the together pentagonal ring and a functional group followed by your double bond so this is your option in the question it is a so this is the way you have to approach the answer okay this is aims 2010 so this knowledge that is intramolecular aldol is new to the need so this is much expected question for need 2019 all the best children Thank you.